Hi friends and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'll show you three different ways to animate a light flicker in Blender 3.0. I'm currently working on this cafe scene and I've added the different animations to these three lanterns so you can see the results of each method. This first lantern has a soft and subtle flicker that casts light and shadows on the surrounding objects using a point light. This is a great way to add a romantic mood to your scene with, for example, candles or a bonfire. On the second lantern, I've added an animated and emission shader, and the light strength fluctuates. Sometimes it turns completely off. And the last lantern has a simple on-off animation, which can be great for, for example, neon signs or a scene with electrical issues. So let's get started. I'll be using Eevee for this tutorial, but all three animations will also work in cycles. If you're using Eevee, remember to go to your render properties here and make sure to check bloom and screen space reflections. I made a simple lantern that I'll be using in the tutorial. And if you want to follow along, you can download the blend file for free through my Gumroad. There's a link in the description below. First, we're gonna create the soft candlelight animation. So I'm going to select this lantern, press tab to go into edit mode, going to press three or this button up here to go to face select. And then I'm going to select the faces where I want to add my emission shader. So I'm going to press on the faces and hold down shift as I go to select them all. There we go. Then we're going to go into the material properties down here and press the plus sign and add a new material and I'm going to press assign to assign the material to the faces. Next I'm going to tab into object mode and then we're going to go into the shading tab and I'm going to press set on the keyboard and go into rendered view. We're going to delete the principal BSDF by pressing delete or X on the keyboard and we're going to add an emission shader instead by pressing shift A, search and type emission. I'm going to hook this up to the surface and you can change the strength to whatever you like. I'm going to go for five and I'll also change the color to a warm yellow orange color, something like this. Next, I'm going to go back into the layout tab and I'm going to add a point light by pressing shift A, go to light and select point light. I'm going to move the point light up by pressing G and set on the keyboard to move it along the set axis and then move it into the lantern. You want to go into the object data properties here and I'm going to change the power to about 100 watts and I'm going to change the color to match the emission shader, something like this. Next, I'm going to go into shadows down here and change the clip start to change the reach of my light. As you can see, it's now casting light on the surrounding objects. I'm going to go for something like this. And now we're going to animate our light. I'm going to change the number of frames to 72, which at 24 frames per second will give us a three second long animation. But you can make this as long or short as you'd like. Make sure your playhead is at frame one and then select your point light and press this button to add a keyframe. Now we're going to go into the animation tab. And as you can see, I have several windows open here. If you need to add any windows, you can just press down in the corner here and drag to add a window. So I have a 3D viewport, a graph editor, a shading window and a dope sheet open. So you can select the different tabs here. In my 3D view, I'm going to press set and go into render view to see what's going on. Next, make sure your point light is selected and select power and then press N and add modifier and we're going to add a noise modifier. You can play around with all these settings, but I'm just going to change the scale and the strength. I'm going to change the scale to something around two or three. Keep your point light strength in mind when editing the strength of your noise modifier. Since my light has a strength of 100 watts, I'm going to use something like 90. This will give it a range of 10 to 190 watts. And you can click the play button to view the animation. As you can see, we have a soft light flicker that's reflecting on the ground and on the lantern next to it. So that's it for our first method. 
So I'm going to stop the animation and go back to the layout window. For the second method, we're going to give the emission shader a flicker effect by using shading nodes. As you can see, I've already added a second material to this lantern. And with this material selected, let's go into the shading editor. We're going to delete the principal BSDF again by pressing delete or X. I'm going to press shift A and search for an emission shader. We're going to connect that to the surface and I'll change the color and strength. I'm going to go for pink this time. We'll need to add a second shader node to the material to act as our offsetting. And I'll be using a diffuse shader. So press shift A, search and type diffuse. We're going to add this here. But you can also play around with different shaders for this. And for example, use a glass shader instead. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. And to add both our shaders to the surface, we're going to need a mix shader node. So press shift A again, search and type mix shader. I'm going to plug this into the top and the other one plugs into the bottom. As you can see, this simply mixes the two shaders and we will need something that controls the factor. So we're going to use a math node as our light switch. We're going to press shift A, search and type math. And we're going to plug the value into the factor. And as you can see, these values will change the strength of our lights. But notice that if we go below zero, we'll start to see some strange and unwanted results. To prevent this, we're going to have to turn clamping on. The clamping will keep the value between zero and one. We now have our material set up. So let's go back to the animation tab to animate our light switch. Make sure your playhead is at frame one. And right click one of the values to insert a keyframe. Do note that we only need to animate one of them. I'm going to select the top one. If you for some reason can't see the material nodes, make sure you have your object or lamp selected. With your math node selected, go to your graph editor and make sure the default value is selected also. And then you should see this red graph here. And then press N to bring out this menu and add a new noise modifier, just like we did with the point light. And play around with the strength scale and offset until you get a result you're happy with. I'm going to go with something like this. And you can play the animation to see your result. If you want, you can combine these two methods by adding a point light to your second lantern. I'm going to go back into layout, select my point light and press shift D to duplicate and press G and Y to move it along the Y axis and move it over to the lamp. And I'm just going to change the color to something pink to match this one. Then you can either change the noise settings so that the two animations roughly match up or you can scrub through your timeline and manually add keyframes for on and off for your point light. To do this, you have to make sure that your point light is selected. Go here and remove the keyframe, then change the value to whatever value you want. I'm going to go for 90 and insert a new keyframe. And then you go through the timeline and find out when the emission shader is off, like here and press zero and insert a new keyframe. It's a little bit time consuming, but at least you can make sure the two lights match up. So that's it for the second method. And we're going to move on to the simple on off animation. And this is going to be really quickly because the node setup is exactly like the one in our second animation. So I'm just going to duplicate this lantern by pressing shift and D and I'm going to press G and Y to move it along the Y axis and move it over here. So I'm going to go into the shading window and simply change add to round in our math node. We'll also change the color to something else. And that's it. We now have a lantern that is either on or off. And if you made it this far, I also have a quick bonus tip for you. Instead of using a diffuse shader like we did here, 
we can add a second emission shader. So I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate this one and plug it in. And then just change the color. And if you go back to layout and play it, and we now have an animation that switches between two colors. And this can be really handy. I've actually previously used this to animate Christmas tree lights. That's it for today. Hopefully you found this helpful and learned something new. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.